habits. <laughs> habits are those tiny choices that you and I make that might seem insignificant at the moment, but they compound with time. For example, if you go and buy a salad today instead of a burger, that might seem like it's those calories that you say might not make a difference today, but as the days go by, weeks go by, and you keep making those tiny choices, they do make a, a difference, just like money, and marketing is the exact same way. And there are a couple of bad marketing habits that you are making that are causing you good marketing results, that are draining your energy, that are distracting you so you are not focused, that are hurting your productivity and how effective you are. And one of them is posting daily instead of scheduling your priorities. Look, I, I, I can't repeat it enough. If you don't schedule your priorities, your posts will, your priorities will not get posted. Because some, most of the time, what you will do is you open the phone and you will post something that you will, might get a lot of likes, but it's not moving the needle towards your end goal. And, and I, you have to get clear on what marketing is supposed to do for you, which it takes me to the second bad marketing habit, which is starting to post, creating content without a plan in place. Even if it's a simple plan, but you need to have clarity on what is that I'm trying to get out of here out of social media. A third bad habit is not making the time to find what works and what didn't work. Meaning you're not blocking time, whether it's weekly or monthly, to find out what worked and what didn't work. So you can do more of what worked and you can either modify or stop doing what doesn't work. And I get it. You might not have the time or the expertise to find out exactly all those numbers. That's why when I, I, I mentioned this, Often it's like, okay, then bring me on board. Let me help you find what works and what didn't work. And if you are delegating your social media marketing, look, I'm a firm believer that every business owner should do as much as possible at first. But it gets to a point, it always gets to a point that you, you have to delegate social media marketing. You grew, you have more important tasks to do. You, are, you have tasks that only you can do or that your money should be your attention and hourly should go someplace else instead of social media marketing and that's when you hire somebody like me and it's it's, it's that person's responsibility if you hire me it's my responsibility if you hire somebody else it's somebody else's responsibility to not only post on social media but to help you identify what works so you can be doing more and what doesn't work so you can modify and stop doing it have the, if you right now are not having this meeting at least once a month, I highly, highly encourage you to have this meeting once a month. And your expectation should be that the person that is helping you to have all the data in front of you. So it's not searching the data while you are in this meeting. It's to present you the data and what worked and what didn't work and what are the recommendations to moving forward. With that said, my friend, I hope you're having a fantastic day. The best day ever. See you in the next video. Peace out.